Historical fantasy is a popular genre amongst mainstream audiences as folklores, legends, and myths from our history which have found their way into various TV shows across the decades. And these TV shows have been able to effectively blend fantasy and history together to create some amazing TV shows. The definition of historical fantasy is a category of fantasy and a genre of historical fiction that incorporates fantastic elements such as magic into a more realistic narrative. So for the purposes of this list, pure fantasy shows such as Game of Thrones or The Witcher will not be included as these shows definitely take place in another world and are pretty much completely fiction as there is very limited depiction of real actual history within these shows. But if you would like to see a top 10 pure fantasy shows list then leave a comment down below and I'll definitely make the video if there is enough interest in it. But before I unveil my opinion on the top 10 historical fantasy shows, don't forget to subscribe to History Spark and press the bell notification button as I post videos on historical TV shows and historical movies on a regular basis. At number 10 it is Camelot, a historical fantasy TV series based on the legend of King Arthur and Merlin. And the show starts in late 5th century Britain with Merlin instilling Arthur on the throne of Camelot and this leads to his half-sister Morgana to start her own evil ambitious plans to overtake the throne. This show unfortunately got cut after one season but it is still a great first season to the show and it does a fantastic job of building a world that could have had a lot of potential. And the acting in this show is great as well, especially by Eva Green and Joseph Fiennes who play the roles of Morgan and Merlin. But unfortunately the same cannot be said for Jamie Campbell Bauer who just never really seems comfortable trying to pull off the character of King Arthur. And you can tell by most of his wooden delivery that he didn't want to be involved in the show. But if you're looking for an incomplete historical fantasy adventure, Camelot may not be a bad place to start that journey. At number 9 it is Merlin, another show based around the legend of King Arthur but with a unique spin as we get to see the primary characters of the legend in their teenage years rather than the older depictions that we usually do get of them. This show's primary focus is to have a teenage Merlin guide and build a bond with Arthur to help him gain the traits necessary to one day become a great king. But he has to do this in a subtle and cautious manner as he is living in a kingdom where magic is banned. The plot of this show is great across all 5 seasons and the show does a really good job of building a bond between Arthur and Merlin which is real and believable. And Merlin is a strong recommendation for me for anyone looking for a light hearted and entertaining historical fantasy series. At number 8 it is Xena Warrior Princess, a fantasy show about the infamous legendary warrior Xena and her quest for redemption by using her amazing fighting prowess to defend innocents and mortal humans from various evil Greek mythological figures such as Ares and Callisto. But I also love that the show eventually incorporates other historical figures into the series like Caesar, Cleopatra and even other medieval and eastern history figures as well. Xena is perhaps the show most well known for making Lucy Lawless a household name all across the world and the rest of the cast here are all amazing as well. The series has an interesting and easy to follow plot but some of the later seasons do seem to kind of drag on a bit and lose some of the quality of the first few seasons. Also I have to warn you the visuals are not great for the show and they were pretty low budget even by the standards of the 90s so it hasn't aged that well but it is still one of the best historical fantasy shows ever created and I think Xena is a show that most fans will definitely enjoy. And if the 8th spot on this list went to Xena then it only makes sense that the 7th spot on this list would go to Hercules The Legendary Journey. The series which was responsible for the spin-off Xena series but this original Hercules series is just as good if not better. This historical fantasy show follows Hercules and his trusted companion Aeolus being involved in various adventures across the fantasy ancient Greek setting. This show has everything you would want from a show based around Greek mythos. It's got a plethora of gods and goddesses, mythological beasts and creatures for Hercules to fight against and an interesting and lighthearted story to boot as well. Hercules is a typical show from the 90s where story arcs are kept short numbering only a few episodes at the most and it is definitely a show that all fans of history and fantasy will really enjoy. 
At number 6, it is Salem, a supernatural horror show based around the Salem witch trials which occurred in Massachusetts between February 1692 and May 1693. And these trials eventually led to the death of over 20 accused witches. But this show is interesting as it depicts a town filled with hysteria about the witches because the witches in this show are real. And they are terrorizing the town with the end goal of resurrecting the devil. So the plot may sound a bit cliche but it is actually a fantastic show and it does present witches and magic in a truly unique manner. And with the cast of characters that are interesting and develop very well over the course of the show, Salem is a TV series which will keep you engaged from episode 1 to its very last and I have to say this show has one of the best finales I have ever seen. So if you're looking for a unique supernatural show which is a bit rushed but is overall a great watch then Salem is my recommendation for you. At number 5 it is Troy Fall of a City which is based around the Trojan War and the Siege of Troy in particular which may or not may have taken place during 13th century BCE. This show is unique as it is pretty different from the other depictions we have seen of the Trojan War as it does not follow the Iliad or any of other Homer's works that closely. It definitely does not follow the physical depictions Homer had of these characters whatsoever. Putting the controversial casting to the side, this show has a unique plot which goes more in depth into the anguish and terror that was present in Troy during the siege and it also depicts the various failed political and military strategies that were used to try to end the siege but in the end none of these were truly successful. I enjoyed this show for a strong storyline, great battle scenes and the slower pace of the series but the acting in this show just leaves a lot to be desired especially by the actress who plays Helen as she is not a very engaging character and is about as fascinating as a brick. But that still does not prevent Troy, Fall of a City from being an enjoyable show overall which I did enjoy quite a bit even if it does have quite a few shortcomings. At number 4 it is the most unique and different entry on this list and that's Kingdom, a South Korean drama which is described as a historical political horror thriller which is Netflix's first original Korean series set in a fictional medieval Joseon era timeline. Kingdom is adapted from the web series Kingdom of the Gods and it explores the story of a crown prince as he sets out to investigate the source of a mysterious plague that begins to ravage his country. This series has amazing acting and original storyline with lots of plot twists and a perfect mix of horror, suspense and intrigue. Kingdom does a fantastic job of combining a mix of different genres and storylines to create one amazing epic overall plot. Some of the characters are a bit bland and one dimensional and I feel that sometimes a bit of the story does get lost in translation. But aside from these very minor critiques, Kingdom is a show you need to get on your must watch list ASAP. At number 3 it is Leonardo, a historical drama based around the life of Leonardo da Vinci and the various influences on his life that helped him produce some of his most famous works and inspired him to create the blueprints for his many inventions as well. This series is first and foremost a drama piece set within a renaissance historical backdrop and it places the emphasis more on drama than history which has surprised literally nobody at this point. But if you can put the huge number of historical inaccuracies in the show to the side, you will find a series here that is engaging, filled with lots of plot twists and interesting characters as well, who really do bring the world to life. So for people who want a more simplified look at the renaissance period of history, but in a manner that is easy to follow and is accessible for the average viewer, then Leonardo is the perfect show for you. And at number 2 it is Britannia, a historical fantasy TV show set in 43 AD with the Roman army setting out to attempt to conquer Britain once again after Caesar's failed attempt many decades earlier. But when the Roman army gets there things do not go as planned as they have to try to conquer and subdue the wild British tribes and also deal with the magical powers and mysticism of the druids living there as well. Britannia is a great show with an amazing plot and even better plot twists. It has great battle scenes and a good mix of history and fantasy as well. Only minor critique I can think of this show is some of the secondary cast members are horribly miscast and they just do a terrible job in their roles. But aside from this small shortcoming, Britannia is a great show 
And if you're looking for a historically inaccurate show which is fun, mystical, and entertaining, then Britannia is the perfect show for you. And the top spot on this list goes to Outlander, a historical drama based on the novel series by Diana Gabaldon. The primary plot focuses on a World War II military nurse named Claire Randall who through a series of events finds herself transported back in time to 1743. And in order to survive during 18th century Scotland, Claire is forced to marry a Highlander, Jamie Fraser, whom she quickly falls in love with and the show develops the plot quite quickly from there. Outlander is a show which has a fantastic storyline covering a little explored part of Scottish history including the Jacobite Rising. The acting in this show is also magnificent and the historic backdrop is used effectively making the viewer really feel like they are in 18th century Scotland. I don't really have much to critique about the Outlander and there was a little bit too much filler in some of the later seasons and occasionally new characters are added to the show and removed very quickly but the Outlander is a show overall which gets better and better each season and it is a masterpiece in its own right so if you're looking for a historical fantasy show Outlander is my top recommendation for you and lastly I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it please do like and share this video with others and leave a comment down below on what other topics you would like me to explore in future videos and if you haven't already please do subscribe to my channel history spark as i post videos on historical tv shows and historical movies on a regular basis thank you so much for watching bye